February 242014 9am Now I was surprised to see that this hamster who has just drank water from the water bottle is much alive despite bleeding profusely from the vagina now yesterday Sunday I did an exploratory laparotomy laparotomy to check what's wrong as there was profuse blood coming out from the vulva vagina area and uh, on opening up the abdomen I could see that the intestines the large intestines were full bloated with liquid blood and uh, gas so I massaged the intestines and got some of the watery stools out but uh, after that I close up the abdomen and uh, give the hamster subcutaneous Betril plus Hartman plus a bit of glucose and uh, I thought since this is a two and a half year old hamster she will not survive yet now you can see this hamster is actually eating now this is a two and a half year old hamster female hamster and uh, very much alive as you can see and uh, the whole place she had passed out more blood and uh, you can, can see even then no other hamsters would survive such an episode of intense bleeding for at least two days before coming to see me now this hamster has some special characteristics in the sense that according to the owner she can pick up four digits and uh, the owner had made some wins or lottery wins from the four digit draws at least ten times so this is not your ordinary hamster and uh, and uh, despite laborato exploratory laboratory in which I opened up the abdomen to check what's inside as I thought it was pyometra since the bloody discharge came out from the vulva it was actually not, it was intestines bloated with gas and liquid now the hamster had been fed some <coughs> something different vegetables while the owner was away family members fed her so this change of diet could upset the intestinal flora and uh, cause diarrhea and uh, with such a large amount of blood as you can see an ordinary hamster especially at two and a half years of age would not have survived especially after surgery to open up the abdomen I did massage some of the swollen contents some of the contents in the swollen large intestine out and uh, then I close up and stitch up with 6-0 as well as sutures yet now you can see this hamster is actually much alive now the surgery is here the I haven't cleaned up yet and uh, you can see the the closing of the wound and uh, this is a very unusual incredible case which is uh, unbelievable so Without, without video, it will be hard for, for viewers to believe that there is such a hamster. This is the 4D hamster. They, 
its owner actually makes money as she always picks up four digits and no more when given the digits in, in some papers to pick up. So so you can see that this quite a hardy hamster. The owner did authorize surgery even though there are high risks involved, especially for such a such an old hamster at two and a half years. The lifespan is about that. Two and a half to three years of life. And the thing about this surprise is that uh, I don't expect her to survive overnight. But uh, she was actually drinking from the water bottle when I woke her up this morning. But uh, since my camera did not have the camera cut, so I was unable to to record her drinking from the water bottle. And uh, you can see, you can see she's quite active. And there you can see her actually eating, you know. I was interested in the, the food, which is uh, one of those uh, unexplained unexplained uh, incidents in life. I mean, it's just like Clairvon, Clairvon, able to foresee the past and uh, our fortune teller able to predict accurately the fortune. Now, let's see. Are you going to drink or not? I'm not interested in drinking now. But she did drink. It's only that my camera did not have the card, memory card to record it early on. I had put a card in my laptop to download and I did not put it back. So overall, this is a very unusual medical case because any hamsters with so much blood at least I think will be probably five, three of three to five ml over the last three days, and a distended abdomen will have just passed away. So I will follow up again, February twenty four two zero one four Monday, nine a.m. Many of these things are not explainable by science. Is there a divine power behind this hamster? I mean, you can see that practically the, the amount of bleeding and that is post op. Then this is post op after I close up the abdomen. And before that, I had massage out more, at least 1 ml of blood from the distended intestines during my surgery using Zolotil IM. This hamster seems to have a charmed life, I would say. And uh, it's just that nowadays there is the YouTube to provide the visual evidence of this incredible wet tail, they call it, wet tail incident in a hamster due to change of diet to veg vegetables. If the, if the family have fed just the usual pellets and commercial feed, there would have been no episode of this profuse diarrhea, which I think is due to an upset of the intestinal flora. So I let the hamster rest and uh, we'll follow up. If she survives, she can, she can survive uh, and go home today. February 2 1, February 2 4, 2 0 1 4, Monday. Second day after seeing this hamster and about uh, 12 hours 
about 20 hours after surgery, done at 4 p.m. yesterday, Sunday. I just opened up the abdomen. The bladder was normal, and I did see urine being peed out. So it seems that this hamster might have a common opening at the anus vulva area. Otherwise, how would you see blood flooding the vagina when it should come up from the anus? That is the only possible explanation of seeing blood in the vulva area, profuse amount. I have video it early on. Now I can see the hamster actually interested in eating, or at least it's active. Uh, one of those hard to believe, incredible but true stories from the veterinary, veterinary medicine and science. A two and a half year old hamster, 61 gram early on, and uh, if passing so much blood, could easily be 5 ml, and yet not dead from, not dead from anemia and dehydration. Of course for dogs, much can be done, like uh, IV drips and uh, blood transfusion. But for this dwarf hamster, it's uh, not possible actually to do all these IV drips. And I did give a subcutaneous uh, dextrose saline plus B3, plus a bit of glucose yesterday after the surgery, above the between the ears and under the skin. And that was about all I did. And uh, in fact, she was already passing blood for two days before she came and see me. And uh, this uh, hamster seemed to have some unscientific divine, divine uh, protection. Nobody knows actually. We will see how it goes. February. 242014 Monday 9 a.m. to 9.30 to Apaya Vets, Singapore.